sharing is legal and lesson law company today we will discuss the burden of proof under the box at home well. the objective behind the registration is to ensure that the actual offenders are behind the bars one approach that has been inculcated in the posco act is to reduce the burden on the prosecution to prove certain things by introducing presumption section 29 and 30 of the posco act lays down the provisions with respect to the burden of proof. According to section 29, the person who is prosecuted for the commission of the child sexual abuse offence is presumed to have committed or abated or attempted to commit such offence. The main issue that arises with implementation implementing this provision is that the nature of the presumption that has to be applied is at whom then fancy of the court. Also, this provision has been challenged to be unconstitutional in number of cases as it intervenes with the right to be presumed innocent, right against self incrimination and the right to remain silent. In case of Imran Shah Khan, who is the state of Maharashtra, a child told her grandfather that she was sexually abused and her medical examination confirmed this. However, her mother told her to ignore it. The statement of the child victim and her grandfather was recorded before the magistrate. The Bombay High Court made an important order in the case by stating that even if a minor in sexual case turns hostile under the Poso Act, the onus is on the accused to establish the innocence. It is easy to say that the prosecution failed to prove the guilt of the abuse, but in a case like this, a judicial approach has to see this justice is imparted to the victims too. Further, Section 30 provides the abortion to the accused to prove his or her innocence, thereby making the presumption in the second written night. In the case of S. Suresh, the state of the Miladu, the accused was convicted in Section 6 of the Post Court and he was not reverted to the presumption of Section 39. Therefore, the court ordered that the reverting presumptions also proves the guilt of the accused. Thank you. And if there is any doubt, please mention that in the comment section.